You know, sometimes cops think they're above the law and give themselves too much importance. This often leads to bad behavior towards the citizens. Today we're talking about such officers who were punished for their behavior and even fired. Let's go to the videos. Officer Jim Bianchi was fired on April 30th, 2023 from the Sandwich Police Department after they realized that they didn't need a police officer behaving like a tyrant. It all started when a woman visited the police station to file a complaint against an officer. At the counter, she encountered a female officer named Wendy who was incredibly kind. Wendy politely guided the woman on where to go and whom to complain to. She also informed the woman that she could make an anonymous complaint without providing any personal information. Is this the police department? Uh, yeah, I needed two FOIA request forms and um, I'm gonna find out how I need to file an officer complaint. Uh, okay, I'm gonna find out complaint. And uh, if I wanted to remain anonymous, so will they? Okay, and also, I don't know if I should bring that to you or them, but the laptops in the squad cars are currently open, and two of them, um, with what appears to be a CAD or something maybe, um, in full view. So they might want to think about closing it, just privacy. And also, the American flag needs some loving. So I don't know if I should tell you or tell them. Or... Okay, I can pass it on to them. Um, we can send you two of them. Yes, ma'am. You want to do this? Okay. And um, I don't have to identify on these either as long as I uh, like give them an email or something to contact. I'm the boy officer here, so at a minimal just give me some kind of information to be able to hold you let you know it's not or just come back to five days or Okay, perfect. Awesome. What was your name? Wendy, thank you. Unlike the female officer, her supervisor, Jim Bianchi, displayed unprofessional behavior. Upon entering the hallway where the woman was, Officer Bianchi approached her too aggressively, making her feel immediately threatened. When he demanded that she turn off the camera, the woman asked him why. He was rather arrogant, stating that he didn't want her filming. As a supervisor, Officer Bianchi should know that individuals can record in a public space. Additionally, armed police officers should maintain a reasonable distance of at least six feet from citizens. Officer Bianchi violated the woman's personal space, prompting her to ask him to step back multiple times. Despite asking how he could help her, the woman had already spoken to another officer, and she clearly didn't require any assistance from Officer Bianchi. Hello. Hi, turn it off, please. Why? I don't want to get And what's your name? Why are you approaching me? What can I do for you, ma'am? Did I, did I not tell her what I needed? Why? Are, what is your name, sir? Ma'am, what can I do for you? I already discussed it with her. And she came to me at her supervisor. And what she said, why are you aggressive? What's your name? Who's Can you identify? My name's Chief James Bianchi. You're the chief? Yes, I am. Can you please step back? No, please turn the camera on. Without your mask, you need to step back. No, I do not. There's no one that's You're the, the chief and you're behaving this way. Look, Good. if I reached out, I would touch you. No, you couldn't. Yeah. I was playing in my pocket. What can I do okay, for you? I'm backing up and I'm asking you not what to step you? closer. What can I do for you? Stop stepping closer to me. What can I do for you, miss? Did she tell you what I was here for? She said, Can I speak to you? I don't want to speak to him. He's being aggressive with me. Aggressive? Well, well, I'm requesting to speak to somebody that's not you. Well, I'm it. I'm as high as you get here. Okay, that's a shame. Okay. Why have you been aggressive with? She didn't tell you what I'm here for. I'm here conducting business. For some unknown reason, Officer Bianchi took the fact that the woman wanted to complain about a police officer too personally, as if someone wanted to complain about him. He pressed the woman for details about her complaint, but she refused to tell him. The woman requested that someone else be sent to talk to her, as Officer Bianchi was the last person she wanted to deal with. When another officer arrived, the woman tried to explain that Officer Bianchi was harassing her. The supervisor flexed his authority and chased the officer away. What else? Anyone? What else? You're trying to intimidate me because I had an officer can I complaint. Can I, can I had an officer question? complaint. And that's what I'm here for. What is the officer complaint? It doesn't, I'm not telling you. You've been aggressive with me since the okay. beginning. I want, yeah. I want I a form. Can I have the there form? You don't have a form. No, You're not required to have a form in Illinois. No, ma'am. Oh, yeah? Correct. Since when? The woman informed Officer Bianchi that she intended to file a complaint against the police officer and now had to add him to the list. Officer Bianchi seemed offended that the woman would complain about him. He insisted that the woman could complain about him only after identifying herself. Unlike Officer Bianchi, Officer Wendy demonstrated more understanding and respect for the woman's choice to file an anonymous complaint. When the woman requested a pen and telephone for citizens, Officer Bianchi was uncooperative. It appeared that he didn't appreciate being filmed. The woman advised him not to approach people aggressively and to avoid escalating situations. 
Very good. Well, I need to complain to somebody that's not you because now I also have a complaint on you. Very good. Give me your name and phone. I'm phone. not giving, I don't have to identify by law. I don't have to identify. Can you run out your last name for me? And don't ever come up at me like that. Shame on you. You're the chief. Wendy treated me with respect, at least. You don't like cameras in here, do you? Well, then what's your problem? You told me to shut mine off. What's your problem? You try to intimidate me. What's this for? For what? Oh, excellent. I need a pen, sir. I can fill out this way. Okay, it's fine. You don't supply pens? Can I have your last name, sir? Can you identify? My name is... Have a nice day. I've said it twice already. Have a nice day. You said you were the chief. I know that makes your balls feel heavy, but, uh, no. Have a nice day. Wendy, may I have a pen, please? Have a nice day. I'm conducting my business. You need to get away from me. Don't ever step up on me again. Shame on you for being the leader of this department. Officer Biaggi, determined to justify himself, falsely claimed that the woman had been unpleasant to Wendy, a statement that was far from the truth. When the woman asked Officer Biaggi to spell his last name for her complaint, he dismissively wished her a nice day and refused to provide his name, disregarding the obligation to do so. It seemed like Officer Biaggi believed his supervisory role placed him above the law. The woman then invited him to observe the American flag in their office, highlighting its significance as a symbol of the constitutional rights he had sworn to protect as a legal officer of America. Do you think a single word got through to this cop? I have an officer complaint. You're trying to intimidate me. You're trying to intimidate me. She told me, I don't want to be near you. The second you came out that door, the second you came out that door, what'd you do? What'd you do? You escalated it, didn't you? I was kind to her, wasn't I? No, she told me to use this phone. I'm going to use the phone. Actually, come here. Come here. I want to show you some problems I got. Come here. Come on. Come on, so Mr. Gonna, Chief, come here. Well, are you going to continue to complain? No. Oh, that's, that's separate. Complaint. I'm not complaining to you. I refuse to complain to you. Okay. I want you to look at your American flag. Look at it and tell me if you think it should be tattered that way and displayed. That's something I brought up to her in a professional, kind way. All right, and why is the cabs open on the computers, on the squads? Why do you want? Your laptops and the squads are open. What is it if it's open? You guys are supposed to create the privacy, couldn't there? A lot of times, isn't there personal info that everybody shouldn't be seeing? Maybe only you guys? It's not, you're telling me there's no words across the screens right now. They're open. Okay. Two squads right now. And I also came in and reported that. Okay. All right, I'm trying to protect the citizen, and apparently we need to protect them from you. Why did you come at me the way you did? The woman confronted Officer Bianchi, urging him to explain his behavior in front of the camera, but he remained silent. She expressed to Officer Bianchi that he was the worst police officer she had ever encountered. Strangely, Officer Bianchi was blocking her access to the phone that Wendy had directed her to use during her time at the station. Despite having more important tasks as a supervisor, he seemed fixated on learning which police officer the woman intended to file a complaint against. I want you to explain yourself right now. Explain yourself. You came at me that way. Okay. Do your business. I'm trying to finish math. I need to read through my FOIAs. And she told me that you might have a complaint for him. Do you have one or not? I told you we don't. We do personal interviews. Oh, yeah. By you? Who the f complained to you? You're a disgrace, dude. I know plenty of chiefs of police, and you're the worst one. Worst one to ever approach me, ever. Shame on you. Okay. Have a good one. I'm trying to conduct my business. Stop following me around. I'm not. She told me to use the phone. She told me to use the phone. I'll complain. You know what's sad? You know what's sad? How long have you been chief? You're brand new chief, ain't you? Are you a brand new chief this year? Were you disappointed? Okay, then leave me alone while I conduct my business. Okay. Is there a reason you're trying to intimidate me out of filing my complaint? I need a pen over there so I can uh, fill out something. I don't need to. The public funds those pens. Did you pay for them? Oh yeah? Do you have a ring on? Officer Bianchi went as far as to deny the woman access to the pens on the counter, falsely claiming that he had purchased them himself. Although seemingly trivial, those pens are funded by the taxes paid by citizens. The woman offered Officer Bianchi an opportunity to apologize for his behavior. However, his ego prevailed, and he simply retreated to one of the offices. Following the decision not to renew Police Chief Jim Bianchi's contract, the city of Sandwich is currently in the process of appointing an interim chief until a permanent replacement is found. City Administrator Jeff Penman stated on April 20th that they are actively working on securing an interim chief and anticipate having one for a few months. Mayor Todd Latham clarified that the decision regarding Bianchi's contract was driven by a desire to see improvements in various aspects of the police department. Oh, you funded that pen? Oh yeah, and who gave you your salary? The people. Correct? 
Shame on you. You're a disgrace, dude. You truly are. What kind of small man syndrome do you got? All three inches of nothing, bro. Come on. Do you apologize for your behavior? Come on. I'm giving you a chance to man up and say, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't. As a leader of this department, I shouldn't behave that way. And I expect my guys not to behave that way, but you're not doing it. You can't own up to your mistakes, can you? I'm giving you the opportunity right now. But I'm asking you to step away from there so I can fill it out on a, a decent service. Because there is nowhere to fill out a FOIA form in this life. Thank you. I don't like you trying to intimidate me. I was here for a complaint. I was kind to her. Shame on you. I ain't going in there. I also don't want you behind me either. I don't like that. Just like how you don't like that. You want someone on your gun side, you don't want them on your six. Thank you. Have a good day. On May 20th, 2023, Officer Nick Hobbs from the Loveland Police Department responded to multiple calls reporting an adult female, Angelia Hall, wandering in and out of traffic and speaking uncoherently. Upon arriving at the reported location, Officer Hobbs found 59-year-old Angelia walking through a parking lot and initiated contact. The officer immediately questioned Angelia about her actions. Perplexed, she explained that she was merely walking and singing, asserting her right to do so. Officer Hobbs, however, admonished Angelia for walking along the street, missing the the fact that there was no sidewalk. Insisting on her ID and questioning her destination, the officer even offered her a ride, not out of genuine concern, but rather to gather information about her residence. You just walks her along singing a song. Can you just hang out top of me, please? I'm just singing a song. All okay, are you walking in traffic, though? Ma'am? I'm just singing a song all day long. Walking along. Is there no freedom? There is, but I can't just... walk along and sing a song. See, I have this volume. Perfect. So I can't walk along. Oh, walk. Oh, you know what I mean? So I'm getting told that you're like out in the roadway. Oh, okay. Can, well, can well, you stop well, with me? Just talk to me just no for a second. Sidewalk. I know. Where are the sidewalks? Where am I supposed to be? Well, where do you live? There's nowhere for me to be. You don't okay. have no design. No design. Let's stay out of the roadway, right? Oh, out of the roadway, okay. You gave me a sidewalk, I guess. I'd Could you just sit down car. for me and talk with me, please? Ma'am, do you have an ID? Uh, I'm just walking, singing a song, dude. I got you, but you're, okay. you're walking in the roadway. Well, okay, but there's no sidewalk, is you. there? But if you're walking on to There's no sidewalk, is there? I was crossing the can road. I you, can I give you a ride somewhere? No, thank you. Are you from Loveland? Maybe. I'm from all lands, you see. What can I call you? That's what's your me. what's your name? Angelia. Angelia? Angelia. Angelia? Am I saying name? Officer Hobbs. My first name's Nick. Yeah. Nicholas, yeah. But I go by either one. Right? People call me a bull, so. What can I do to help you? Hey, I'm just gonna go my way. I'm just okay. gonna take a breath. Sure. I got Is some it, can I give you a volume the fifth element? Any kind of like identification on you? Just I, I already told you. Just your first name, name yeah. That is yeah. my identification. What's your last name? Ma'am. Where are you headed to? I am walking on my freeway. You are, and I'm not saying you're not. I'm getting out sidewalk. Sure. the place that I do. Well, they do. Sorry, they do I don't go by the sub lines of the... What baffles everyone is why the policeman takes issue with the woman singing. Just because he received a few complaints from people bothered by it, it doesn't mean she has to stop singing. Her rights to freedom of speech and movement don't stop just because someone has a problem with her singing. However, the policeman quickly revealed his true colors when he realized the woman didn't want to cooperate. He resorted to physically harassing her, despite her persistent requests for him to back off. The woman kept telling him to leave her alone, but the policeman eventually arrested her, treating her as if she was the biggest criminal in the world, rather than a woman simply walking down the street and singing. I'm not been not Is there some problem with that? Well, I can't walk and sing. Where are you going to? It doesn't matter. Does matter. Why do I have to say where I'm going when I'm just walking in a free country singing a song? Come to me face and face. I'm just walking. I got you, Chihuahua. Plausible. Walking traffic. Don't touch me, dude. Okay. Don't. Then I will do that. Will you cooperate with me? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Are you going to identify me? Don't touch me. I'm just walking, singing along. She only told me her first name. Don't touch me. I'm just walking along. I have no freedom to walk in this land. Do you have an idea of this? What have I done wrong? Let go of me. No, I'm not. I'm walking through. I'm walking through. Are you willing to work with me? Oh, well, I'm walking through. Get your hand. Get off of me. Get off of me for what reason? 
When Officer Hobbs arrested the woman, he may have felt a momentary sense of power and authority, but karma swiftly caught up with him. Unbeknownst to Officer Hobbs, he was violating this woman's rights throughout the entire encounter. Angelia ended up getting arrested for obstructing the police. The real question remains, when are cops going to learn that obstructing the police is a secondary crime? To convict someone of obstructing the police, that person must have committed a crime and then refused to identify themselves. It was evident that the woman's singing posed no threat to anyone. Officer Hobbs asked Angelina how many drinks she had consumed that day and conveyed to other arriving officers that the woman seemed either mentally unstable or intoxicated, prompting them to initiate that ever so important investigation. If you can, yeah. Um, let me give you my card. I you know, have my phone there. You can just send it to my yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna try to get her help. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. not in the right mind or something either. She's super intoxicated or something. So I try to de-escalate stuff until I get somewhere else. Yep. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I just sent it to that email, and uh, if we do have anything on her, then help out. So. What are you gonna charge me with? You're the fucking idiot. Green light. Yeah, that's right. Alright. Let's go to Instagram. Yeah. I think you've already uh, felt me over your Okay. Do you have anything in your pockets that I missed? Oh, you fucking have to feel it. Like After being taken to the police station, Angelia appeared visibly upset as the female officer asked her questions. Two police officers who arrested her arrived, taking items from her hands while she was handcuffed. Angelina began to yell and insult them, instructing them not to talk to her. The female officer then warned Angelina about her language and rude behavior. I didn't know what I would like, nor do you like to carry you. Long since you're asking Angelia, you don't speak for me, you Margarado fucking piece of Let's watch the language. Angelia, you Angelia, I will not tolerate yeah. that language. Well, I will tell you I'm not tolerating that I can't walk down the street. Hey, give it back to me. You yeah, hey, I can have it. Why can't I have it? Hey, <laughs> Angelia. Why can't I have that paper, you piece of Angelia, if you continue to so take I'll tell you what brings me in here today. I'm walking down and I will not tell you that. This is no lesson. Don't even try to make me. Really? You handcuffed me. Give me my paper back. Yeah, see how he instigates. Don't sit. Oh, hey. See what he does. See what he does. Back off. However, Angelina then shared something shocking. She tearfully claimed that Officer Hobbs punched her in the face while she was handcuffed and that she was trying to defend herself because she was being arrested without cause. She requested to see the video from the policeman's body camera, but mysteriously, there was no such video. Maybe Officer Hobbs lost control of the situation and turned off his camera at that point. Angelina then tearfully expressed that she never dreamed she would be arrested for simply singing. I want a video of that. I want video of that. Sit down. I want video of that. I want video of that. He punched me in the face. I have my handcuffs. I can't even fight back against that rust. I want to f***ing name. I'm taking him down. I have my hands cut. I can't even fight back. Is this liberty? Is this what you call justice? I can't even I was cooperating with everybody. You guys wouldn't cooperate with me. I was just walking along, singing a song. And when it's 55 degrees, finally nice. You guys don't like my song. You don't like the truth. Fuck you. You punch me in the face when my arms are behind my back. Your fellow officer. Right in the face. No. No? It was Officer Hobbs who was then called in to speak to his supervisor. While some of Angelia's actions are questionable and maybe wrong, such as yelling at one of the officers and trying to physically escalate the situation, it turns out that Angelina does indeed have mental health issues. But she is still a citizen like all other Americans and deserves to be protected by police officers who are public servants. She definitely didn't deserve to be punched in the face by a dirty cop. Officer Hobbs was charged with third degree assault for his wrongful actions and was fired immediately. Suck on that, Officer Hobbs. So what happened? I was trying to talk to her and she ultimately just spit in the direction of her stuff and hit the floor. 
still verbally uncooperative, trying to get info out of her. Staff was like, you know what, I'm not dealing with her. I'm, we're, we're, we're leaving the room. She's very uncooperative at this point. So she's yelling and Maranto, Maranto's standing in front of her. She spits at Maranto on and then Maranto uh, just kind of takes his right hand and like, across her face. And that's when I took Maranto, Maranto grabbed her and I took and pulled Maranto off her and told him to get out of here. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I think I need a, a, a tap out as well after all that's happened. <laughs> I'm pulling you off this call. I'm just kind of overwhelmed. I'm pulling you off this call. What? We need to get her transported to the jail.